Additional subtraction of fractions. We will see for like fractions, unlike fractions and mixed fractions. Like fractions means when the denominators are same. Consider 3 upon 7 plus 2 upon 7. In this result we have 7 in the denominator and directly add the numerators. That is 3 plus 2 upon 7 which is equal to 5 upon 7. Similarly to subtract the like fractions. 5 upon 6 minus 2 upon 6 directly subtract the numerators that is 5 minus 2 upon 6 will it gives 3 upon 6 as the answer we can further simplify this it would be 1 upon 2 now for the like fractions 4 upon 5 plus 5 upon 6 in this case we have to take the LCM of denominators 5 and 6 are co primes so LCM would be product of these two numbers. Now convert each and every fraction to its equivalent in such a way that denominator would be 30. For the first fraction, denominator is 5. To make it 30, we have to multiply it with 6. So both numerator and denominator will multiply with 6. And in the second fraction, the denominator is 6. So here we have to multiply this with 5. Multiplying both numerator and denominator with 5. Now the first fraction turns out to be 24 upon 30 and the second one is 25 upon 30. Like fractions addition. So directly add both the numerators that is 24 plus 25 is 49. 49 upon 30 is the answer here. Consider another case 2 upon 5 plus 3 upon 7. So usually when the denominators or primes or co-primes in such a case we can take LCM as the product of these two numbers for addition or subtraction of such fractions there is another method we call it as butterfly method that for the denominator we will multiply these two denominators and write it is the denominator and for the numerator we will use the cross products that is numerator of first fraction into denominator of the second fraction 2 into 7 in this case and then we have to take the denominator of first one with the numerator of the second fraction that is 5 into 3 now just complete this the first one becomes 14 in the numerator plus 15 denominator is 35 and this gives 29 upon 35 as the answer. Consider 5 upon 6 minus 1 upon 3. Here one denominator is the multiple of another one. In that case directly LCM would be 6. Or you can try to get the LCM. Even in that way it would be 6. For the first fraction write the numerator directly. For the second fraction if we multiply the denominator with 2 it will be 6 so both numerator and denominator we have to multiply with 2 the same we will write here 1 into 2 so 1 into 2 is 2 5 minus 2 which is equal to 3 upon 6 is the final answer for this question and on further simplification 1 upon 2 now consider the mixed fractions addition or subtraction. In this case, we can directly add the whole numbers that is 4 and 3 which gives 7 that we will write directly and then we will add these proper fractions 2 upon 3 and 1 upon 4. So when we add these two proper fractions here LCM is product of these two that is 12. Further numerator cross multiplying 2 with 4 that is 8. In middle we have plus so keep plus and then again cross multiplying 3 with 1 that gives 3. So this will result in 11 upon 12. We can write the answer to be 7 11 upon 12 in the mixed fraction form. Now consider the subtraction part. Addition or subtraction of mixed fractions can be done in two different ways. One we have seen just now. The other one is to convert these mixed fractions into improper fractions and then perform addition or subtraction. 
so here we'll try to see in both the ways considering the previous way 3 minus 2 for subtracting the whole number part of these fractions this gives 1 so 1 here and then we have to do 5 upon 6 means considering the proper fraction from these mixed fractions minus 4 upon 5 so 5 upon 6 minus 4 upon 5 LCM is 30 cross product 5 into 5 is 25 minus 6 into 4 is 24 so this will be equal to 1 upon 30 so this proper fraction we will write here 1 upon 30 now we will try to convert these mixed fractions into improper how can we do that so 3 into 6 we have to do and then add this numerator that will give us 23 upon 6 for the first fraction and the second fraction would be 14 upon 5. Here again if we take the LCM it would be 30. Taking the cross product 23 into 5 which is 1, 1, 5. We have minus in between so writing minus 6 into 14 that gives 84. Now if we subtract these two we will get 31 upon 30 again if we convert this improper fraction into a mixed fraction we will get 1 1 upon 30 as the answer so if we check here both the cases we have got the same answer 3 minus 5 upon 6 so 3 is a whole number and for whole numbers we can write 1 in the denominator. So this can be written as 3 upon 1 minus 5 upon 6. Now take the LCM here. 1 into 6 is 6. So we will have 6 in the denominator. 3 into 6 is 18 and then minus in between we will have to do 1 into 5 that is 5. This gives 13 upon 6 as the answer. On converting this into mixed fraction, we will get 2 1 upon 6 as the answer here. To add a whole number and fraction, if the fraction is proper like this, we can directly write uh, by removing this plus sign here, we can write this as a mixed fraction like 2 2 upon 3. Now we will add a whole number to an improper fraction that is 4 upon 3. In this case, first we have to convert the improper fraction into a mixed fraction. It is 1, 1 upon 3. So to convert, we know the process. We have to divide this, write 4 here and divide with 3. 1 times 3 minus 1. So first we have written the question, then reminder upon the divisor. While adding, first add the whole number part with the number. 5 plus 1 is 6 and write the proper fraction as it is that is 1 upon 3 so the result is 6 1 upon 3 similarly while subtracting any mixed fraction minus 1 in this case we can directly do the subtraction from the whole number part of the mixed fraction here 5 minus 1 is 4 write the proper fraction 1 upon 6 as it is here that is like this so the result is 4 1 upon the 6 to subtract any two mixed fractions 2 1 upon 3 minus 1 1 upon 3 first subtract the whole number parts that is 2 minus 1 is 1 and then subtract the proper fractions 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon 3 is 0 means there is no proper fraction part in this fraction of two mixed fractions 4 5 upon 6 minus 3 1 upon 6 we'll subtract the whole number parts first that is 4 and 3 4 minus 3 is 1 then subtract the proper fractions from each mixed fraction so 5 upon 6 minus 1 upon 6 denominators are same so directly subtract the numerators and write the answer as 4 upon 6. So the result value is 1, 4 upon the 6. Let us practice few more questions. 
consider through upon 3 plus 1 upon 7. Here both the denominators are primes. So LCM would be product of these numbers 3 into 7 is 21. Now cross multiply 2 into 7 that is 14 plus in between and 3 into 1 is 3. So this is equal to 17 upon 21. Take 3 upon 10 plus 7 upon 15. In this case, we'll take the LCM of 10 and 15. You can check in fifth table 2 times and 3 times. LCM is the product of all these numbers which is equal to 30. So, we'll convert the first fraction 3 upon 10 in such a way that denominator is 30. For that, we have to multiply both numerator and denominator with 3. The first fraction will become 9 upon 30. In the second fraction case, 15 can be converted into 30 by multiplying it with 2. So, both numerator and denominator we have to multiply with 2. 17 into 2 is 14, 14 upon 30. As these are like fractions, denominator would be 30 at the numerator. 9 plus 14 is 23. So the result is 23 upon 30. Consider 2 upon 3 plus 3 upon 4 plus 1 upon 2. Take the LCM of denominators that is 3, 4 and 2 here. Second table 3 as it is 2 and then 1. Now the LCM would be product of all these values which would be equal to 12. We have to convert each and every fraction to its equivalence. The first denominator can be made as 12 by multiplying it with 4. So even numerator we have to multiply with 4. And the second denominator 4 can be made as 12 by multiplying it with 3. So even numerator we have to multiply with 3. And the last one is 1 upon 2 here 2 can be made as 12 by multiplying it with 6 so even numerator will multiply with 6 this will get converted as 8 upon 12 plus 9 upon 12 plus 6 upon 12 as these are like fractions we will directly add the numerators and denominator would be 12 8 plus 9 is 17 plus 6 is 23 so this value would be equal to 23 upon 12 Consider adding two mixed fractions 1, 1 upon 3 plus 3, 2 upon 3. So adding mixed fractions, first add the whole parts 1 and 3, 1 plus 3 is 4. Then add the proper fractions here 1 upon 3 plus 2 upon 3. Denominators are same, so in denominator we will write 3. 1 plus 2 is 3, so 3 upon 3 means it is 1. So we have 4 along with that 1 which means 5 is the answer in this case. 4, 2 upon 3 plus 3, 1 upon 4. Again add the whole number parts here 4 and 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. Then add the proper fractions 2 upon 3 plus 1 upon 4. So LCM here is 12. So 12 then cross products 2 into 4 is 8 plus 3 into 1 is 3. So we can write it as 7 plus 8 plus 3 is 11 upon 12. Resultant is 7 11 upon 12. Say for subtraction 3 2 upon 5 minus 3 1 upon 5. So first we have to subtract the whole number part 3 minus 3 is 0. So we don't have to write anything in the whole number portion of the result. So then we will subtract 2 upon 5 and 1 upon 5. So denominators are same. So we can directly subtract the numerators 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 upon 5 would be the answer in this case. Now consider the question 
there should be some fraction here minus 5 upon 8 equal to 1 upon 4. So for this to find this unknown value we have to add these two fractions. So as this minuend would be greater than suprahend and the difference this is suprahend and this is difference. So we have to add these two that is 1 upon 4 plus 5 upon 8. Here LCM would be 8 and this has to be multiplied with 2. So even numerator will multiply with 2. 1 into 2 is 2 plus 5 which is equal to 7 upon 8. So in the place of unknown we can write 7 upon 8 as answer. If you want to read check this answer just perform the subtraction here denominators are same subtracting the numerator 7 minus 5 is 2 and on simplifying this we'll get 1 by 4 as answer both are matching so 7 upon 8 is the correct answer here we'll take another example so there is some unknown fraction from this we are subtracting 1 by 5 to get 1 by 2 so again this is subtraction minuend Suprahend and the difference. So to get the minuend, we have to add the difference and suprahend. LCM would be 10. And on cross product, 1 into 5 is 5 plus 2 into 1 is 2. Cross product is this. So 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 upon 10 is the minuend here. Now check another question 1 upon 2 minus don't know the value equal to 1 upon 6. In this case minuend, suprahend and difference. We know among all these things minuend would be the greatest value as the difference is a positive fraction. In that case to obtain the suprahend we have to do minuend minus difference that will give the suprahend. So 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 6. LCM for 2 and 6 is 6. So the equivalent for this with denominator will obtained by multiplying both numerator and denominator with 3. So 1 into 3 is 3 minus 1 here. So this would be 2 upon 6. On simplifying this, we will get 1 upon 3. So the answer here would be 1 upon 3. We can check this. Just perform the subtraction here. 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 3. LCM would be 2 into 3 that is 6. So again cross products 1 into 3 is 3 in between we have minus sign so minus 2 into 1 is 2 3 minus 2 is 1 1 upon 6 is the answer which is matching with the given fraction